It should come as no surprise that 18-year-old Brenna Winter is now going back on everything she told investigators at the time. She tells me investigators weren't listening to her and she was ready to tell them anything just to end the line of questioning. I met Brenna at the visitation center and listened to her describe what she says really happened at the hospital. For the past few weeks, 18-year-old Brenna Winter has been behind bars at the Orange County Jail and at our request agreed to do an interview, wanting to set the record straight. She says she took her four-month-old daughter Olivia to the hospital because she was vomiting blood. But after checking Olivia, doctors were skeptical of her injuries. Why was she having a problem breathing when she was in the hospital? Because she had a really bad stuffy nose. Were you holding her too tight? No. The police report says a hospital worker advised Brenna she was holding the baby too tight and causing her heart rate to drop. Two alarms went off while Olivia was at the hospital. Both times were when Brenna was seen touching her. What happened when the alarms went off in the hospital and you were standing over Olivia's crib? What were you doing? Trying to get her to breathe and see what was going on. How are you trying to help her breathe? By trying to keep her airway open. That's when the Department of Children and Families was called. They told me that this is an investigation now and I'm not allowed to be left alone with her. And after some police questioning, Brenna admitted to trying to gain attention by covering her baby's mouth with her hand, causing her face to turn blue. So at that point I was willing to tell her anything to get out of it. Has your mental stability been questioned? Yes. yes. And what have they said? They just said I'm, I'm out of control and I'm, I'm not on my meds. Brenna tells me she was diagnosed with bipolar disorder when she was 16 years old, just a year before she got pregnant. Were you taking your medications when Olivia was in the hospital? No, I couldn't. And why was that? Because I was breastfeeding her at the time. Brenna tells me she is now back on her medications and results from a mental stability test are pending. Do you think you'll ever see Olivia again? I don't know. Brenna tells me she is no longer in touch with her family and only knows that her four-month-old daughter Olivia is in foster care. Meanwhile, Brenna faces several charges including attempted first-degree murder and aggravated child abuse. Reporting in Orlando, Amanda McKenzie, News 13.